Hey there, welcome to Cooking with Violet Dixon. Today we are making lemon risotto. A few ingredients, a little bit of time to prepare it, and we're going to get ready to go. So, prepared all the ingredients, including the leek. Way to measure everything out. So we need two saucepans. One is to simmer the stock. That was a mouthful. And then the other one is to cook the risotto in. So get it ready and let's go. Okay, so grab your two saucepans. I like one about that size because it's five cups of stock. You can use vegetable or chicken. I am using vegetable. And then you want a big saucepan, but um, one that you can actually get in and stir around so give that one a spray that's what the end result's going to end up in okay grab a ladle and a wooden spoon as well okay so first step is 1.25 liters of chicken or vegetable stock I've gone with chicken stock now if this had have only been a liter I would have brought the one that I've been using the last few times so, get that saucepan hot. So, 1.25 litres is actually 5 cups. You want to get this onto a boil. Because if you've ever made risotto before, you add your liquid gradually, but you want it to be very hot. So just give that a quick stir with that one, just to make sure that all the stock powder's mixed up. Okay, good. In the next saucepan, you want to heat your 20 grams of butter. Which I've weighed out earlier. Turn that one on as well. And you also want a tablespoon of olive oil. It's just to give it a nice buttery golden fry. Okay, perfect. Yes, I've got the fancy olive oil. I don't normally use the extra virgin olive oil, but for some reason this was all I could get, so but it's a choice between that or nothing, it's that. Okay, get that butter melting. Now that I can hear that butter sizzling, I'm going to add one clove of garlic, which I've finely chopped. And the one leek, which I sliced with the mandolin slicer, so I've got it really nice and fine, and I've just rinsed it. Perfect. Get that in, and give that a good stir around. You want to try and get that nice and golden with that butter. Stir that for about four minutes. Now that it's gotten hot, turn it down a little bit. Okay, so grab your Aborio rice. You want two cups. So what I do is I put it in a jar. It's easier to get out as well. So in goes your two cups and stir it around. It's a coat of evenly. about two minutes or until it all looks glassy which I guess means you don't see those white dots in it. Near enough is good enough. Okay next up add your white wine. 
I just grabbed this one. There's probably a better choice of wine rather than that one. You want half a cup. In it goes. Stir it around good. Once that stock comes to the boil, which as you can probably see it's about to now, you want to be adding a ladle full at a time into the risotto. Now this is the time when risotto gets quite uh, hands-on because you can't really walk away from risotto. You want to really um, be on top of it so that you're not putting too much liquid in because if you put too much liquid in it can dry out and um, for really good results on risotto as I say you've got to be right on top of it so once that stock comes to a boil we'll be ready to add a ladle full at a time well, it's nearly there now So I can't remember if I mentioned, but this risotto serves four. I'm doing um, some of those delicious sausages that I got last week, the Moroccan lamb sausages on the side. So um, this is going to be enough for two nights in my household. So I recommend that you um, choose something nice to go with it on the side so you're not just eating, you don't feel like you're just eating rice. Even though risotto is very delicious, um, some people like to have something else with it, so it's entirely up to you. Okay, I can hear that stock almost starting to boil now. So, because it's pretty much there, I'm going to grab my ladle. One ladle at a time. And we don't put any more in it our risotto until that's all gone. As I say, very time consuming but um, well worth it for a nice creamy uh, rice dish. Once your stock's at a full boil, turn it down to low because you just want to keep it at a simmer so it stays hot. Don't want it all boiling out of the pan and turn up your risotto so that it will absorb it quicker okay we're ready to add another ladle full once you can no longer see any liquid you go again Okay, when it looks like this, remove it from the heat, add half of your lemon rind, which I'm just going to put all of it in because I don't want to put it on the top. Stir it through. Stir in your quarter of a cup of lemon juice. Your cute cat cup, of course. Give that a good stir in. Oh, that's looking really creamy. Finally, add that third of a cup of grated parmesan. Mine's not very well grated up because this is the block that I had to grate and put in the freezer. So I've got a nice big chunk of parmesan there. Now that is looking extra creamy and extra cheesy. So, as I say, that serves four. Serve it with something on the side and enjoy. Thank you for watching Cooking with Violet Vixen and I will catch you next time. Bye.